Welcome to the Chinese version of the Lord of the Rings, the Eye of Sauron Tower, the Eye of Chiron Tower, the Eye of Siron Tower. Maybe I should review the set like this. You don't have to see my face. You have to see this. How you guys like my trophy? I just won first place for best brick channel on YouTube. Yeah, I wish. Welcome to the private party of Brick Up, Scotty. What are you guys wearing? You know, it's a good thing my face is out of focus so you don't have to see my mug fill up the entire screen. And I go like this. Hey. How you like that sound? <laughs> so welcome all you Brick fans, AFOB fans, AFOL fans. If you stumbled across my channel, hello and welcome back to Brick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Bemis, the channel of alternative bricks in another alternative realm. Maybe I'm not even of this earth. Anyway, we're back looking at Ding Bao. This is build three of four. I have one more to go. This is for the 2020 Tang Dynasty sets. Correction, they have just released not one, but two more modular sets like this. What are they doing? Where did these come from? Anyway, you got the flower shop makeup store. And this is a bookstore. Guess what? They're both available on the store right now. Go get them. Now, if you haven't, go watch the other two videos. Nice instructions. We don't have to look too much into detail. Now we can just jump right into looking at the set. All right, so here we go. So this is Sing Bao's. We'll just call this the Lookout Tower. XP01025. 3,295 pieces. This one is by far the tallest one. This thing is giant, it really does look like a lookout tower. So there you go, if you've been playing Ghost of Tsushima, or you've been watching Mulan, and you always wanted something that overlooks your ancient city, here you go. It's available at brickmeupscotty.com with all the other ones and all the old school Ding Bao sets. You know where to find them, or go find them anywhere else, yeah please. Now let's come with a bunch of figures here. They are not your standard minifigures, for obvious reasons. We're gonna do something a little different this time, right? We're gonna start from the top and work our way down. I don't know why, I just feel like it. All right, let's go to the top. Oh nice, I can get this part out of the way. This is probably the worst part of the whole build is this piece right here. Pops off really easy. That's like ancient antenna thing they use on the top. I'm just kidding. I actually had to put an extra little piece in there to try to hold it, because without it, this thing pops off like super easy. It was just like, yeah, you see that? Oh, and it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Do we need it? Now the rooftop here is fine. They're just using very simple pieces. Not like the old school one would take forever to put them together. This was actually pretty quick. And I was like, oh man, I'm missing some major pieces to hold this down. How dare they? But then I was like, oh, I found the pieces here because my son was playing with a set as I was building it and he took these pieces away. I was like, oh, but it looks fine. So, you know, if you have missing pieces, you can probably get away with it. So this was simple enough. Then you come to all the decorations here on the side, which is probably the worst part about the set. I did not like are all these little pieces that can just kind of pop off quite easily, especially when you're building or you rub against this thing. Those will probably pop off. You know, I'm sure a majority of you are just probably going to use this for display, just like any other set. Now, I might blaze through this review pretty quickly because it is kind of mirroring on all four sides. So, you know, even if I rotate it here, it's the same there. It's the same here. And it's the same here. Oh, no, it is a little different here. What's different about this part? Sticker! Okay, so the set actually does come with a sticker sheet. There's not a lot of stickers. However, the piece that they're using here, which is for the drum, which we'll see in a second, I felt like it covered too much of that piece up. And to be honest with you, without the sticker, I think it looks, it looks fine without the stickers. I'm like, I'm not gonna use all the stickers. And same deal on the bottom floor, the main entrance signs, there's four of the same stickers. I just put one on to show you for this review. I felt like, yeah, I didn't really need to use those at all. All right, so that's a sticker sheet for you. I do like the little branches that they use there and they're kind of like gold colors. That's kind of cool. Rooftop does come off, which is good. It's a little bit hard to line up and you're gonna probably pry off other parts of the pieces that connect them together or like that. Yeah. There are four lanterns on this rooftop. Thank goodness there's only four of those things, man. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing all these lanterns. This is the underside of it. The underbelly. There are all these pieces you got to put on. It wasn't too tedious. It's nice and thick. I like the feel of it. It's sturdy. Thank goodness for that. The little lanterns are fine. Thank goodness, no stickers on them. And they're pretty durable. So they sit on all four sides of that rooftop. 
Okay, so now that we got this exposed up here, nice and open, it's all tiled on this balcony part. And there is room to put your hand in there if you take the rooftop off. There are no studs, so your fingers are gonna fall over the place. Probably my favorite part of this whole thing is just seeing this. It really does remind me of like a war that's about to happen. A Lord of the Ring stuff going on here. You got bow and arrows for your archers on all four sides. You got these drums to alert the enemy. They're coming round the mountain. And they double the drums. So it's like on the front and the back. And they have little drumsticks on the sides. And you can take those off and be like, ba boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's take a close look at this sticker, which is a nice sticker, but the gray kind of throws off the whole tone to me. And, you know, I like the dragon design on it, but you don't need the sticker. So right in the middle of that room is a hatch. You can open up and go down. I think this middle section is what everyone's looking forward to. They're trying to guess like, is it staircases inside that go all the way up? Is it like intricate, smaller rooms as you work your way up or is it empty? You're gonna find out in a second. But before we do, just to finalize this top part here. Actually, I like the colors of the whole thing. It's pretty good. I like the rails here and a little bit of this kind of, it's not really gold, but that those pieces there that kind of stands out, which is nice. And you got all these little pieces here. If I remember correctly, it was a little bit fragile, like slapping them together. Once they're in there, of course, it looks fine. Underneath that, you have these curved pieces and those are prints, by the way. As I mentioned, it's all repeating, all four sides. So the good thing is, Everything does come off in sections, which is really nice, but because of that hatch and ready, some of you might be disappointed about this. You have to take this straight up and off because, oh man, see that? It's just a ladder. It's a long, look how long that ladder is. Long ladder that goes up. That means it's gonna be hollow on the inside. It's kind of cool how they did that though. It's like a, Bunch of rails they put on here. Take this off for a second. Yeah, right there. You know, if you don't want the ladder there, you can always just use this as an extra rail. If you look underneath here, especially here on the side, they try their best to push those pieces down. So they don't fall off using these little red slope pieces to hold them in. They can still pop off a little bit easy. So you do have to be mindful of that. It does feel sturdy. Look at that. Now we come to this middle section here which is very fast and easy to build. Unfortunately for me, the place where it actually connects to this rooftop, I couldn't quite line it up properly. You can see it pop up there. And you know, I tried pushing it down. I could not get it in there. Maybe you guys have better luck than I do, but at least it comes off easy like this. And you know what? It's all hollow. Look at that. It's like my water ring. Let's go for a swim. I'm ready. Yes, yeah, so that might disappoint you a little bit. It's like, oh, there's nothing else that goes into this room. It just goes up in the center with a ladder there. You're just building basically four walls. Nothing felt like it was flexing out of place except for like when it connects you to the rooftop. But yeah, I like the colors. Nothing like vibrant or out of place. Especially how they use these pieces here. It's like flat but backwards and in there. It kind of gives it a nice different look. That was cool. All right, now we're coming to the bottom part of this build. So this final section here does not mirror on all four sides. Sorry, I lied to you. I'm a liar. This side is the same as this side, except I put the sticker there. Oh, there's a close-up of the sticker. The sign doesn't have a real translation, it's just the name of the village. Chen Yun Fong. So there you go. That's all you need to know if you're gonna raid this village. Which is the same as this side. The only thing different is this side. It's the back. So at least you know where's the front and where's the back to this place. The rooftop is very basic to put together. You're just going up and up and up and up. But man, this part right here, the very top of it, can push down pretty easy. There's like no real support, which is probably why I could not get this piece to fit flat on there. I kept pushing down really hard. It would pop down. Unless I screwed up. You know me, I always screw something up and you guys correct me on these things. And you might be thinking, oh, it's hard to get in here. It's so small. The good thing is the rooftop does come off separately. I can pry this bad boy off there. Make this like a picture frame. Put your photo there and just hang it on the wall. Be like, ah. You probably could put some more pieces here just to like flush it out underneath and just hold it down more secure. That probably would work better. Am I missing those pieces? I don't think so. I hope not. All right, so let's open all six doors. Go boom, they all open up and close just fine. The cool thing is the doors are brick built, which I really like. They're not simple doors. We come inside, 
Which side do we start on? What room is this? Actually, it looks like a work room, like a, or a library room or a filing room because there are some desks in there. We'll look at these desks first with some paintbrush or calligraphy pens where your figures can stand or sit and write their life away. I'm going into my last battle. And these are my notes behind one of the desks or along the back wall. You got the sticker there and that is a poetry poem sticker that probably doesn't make sense. If you want to translate it, go for it. And then along the walls, you got these red cabinets. It's like old school wooden cabinets. The one thing that's actually really refreshing is that all the items so far in each one of these sets are slightly different the way they did the build. So they're not repeating stuff. Thank you. If they repeated everything on the inside, that's kind of like a bummer. Like they didn't change it up. And then you got these cabinets here, which are like notes to my arch enemy. We have destroyed you. Do not attack us. So it's a nice variety of cabinets there. And you got one more, which is this one. I think this one is like a filing cabinet. It's a cool idea, it's different, right? You know, this doesn't open up either. And it's very simple, but once it's in place, it kind of gives off this whole look of this room that's like a, a filing cabinet room. I really wasn't expecting anything inside, to be honest with you. I was more about the, the drums on the upper floors, but you got this nice flushed out room. It's all tiled on the inside. Again, there are no studs in there. But that's fine. Figures will fall over everywhere. And in the middle section, I was like, what is that supposed to be? Why is it just like three walls? And I realized, oh, that's the start of the ladder. It's like impossible to get the camera to show you guys because once it's set in there, it goes all the way up, right? Now on the outside, what's really different is there are no windows. They blocked everything off. And it is raised on the platform. It's like on about a stage because the staircase is going up and it's all tiled on the outside. Yay. And on the very edges, you got these little lanterns that sit there. They're very simple but kind of gives off a nice vibe. And we can't forget the little decorations here. These things will pop off on you once in a while. Man, I kind of wish they had those more securely in. And that's it, man, that's a tower for you. So we're gonna put this all back together. This rooftop goes on first, which is easy. Just line it up on the inside so you can see where it fits. That's secure, that's nice. Then this section goes here, which is not nice. No, it, I think maybe it depends like which direction you're gonna put this in. Maybe this way it would be better. It's all mirrored, so there's no front or back on this part. The fitting a little bit, a little bit better there. No, see, if I push down on it, oh, oh, it's even worse there. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I still can't get it quite lined up. Maybe you guys have better luck than I do. Try to stick your hand here and push it from this side. Oh, maybe that might work better. Oh yeah, that kind of works. Aha! Uh -huh. I found a secret, you guys. So it's better to stick your hand in here. I know this is so dumb and push the corner of the tiling of the roof up and it'll pop in. The ladder is probably gonna go against that wall on the bottom floor that we couldn't see earlier. It can kind of look like down from here. Oh, there we go. The good thing is it fits nicely on the other floors. This piece here is a little tricky to line up, but one part popped off, so it's easy to find it here. There it is. The lookout tower cannot be complete without a horse. Then you got this piece here, which is the water where he drinks out of. This piece was super simple. It's just nice that they added this into the set. They didn't have to. The horse is actually okay too. Nothing wrong with the horse. It does look kind of evil though, right? The evil horse drinking his water. Now we we'll look at the figures. You know what? This is the first time I'm seeing twins on the set. We got a couple twins here. We'll start with these guys in blue with their swords. These are not your typical figures. You know that already. There's the front. Nice printing. Nice hat. Printing on the back as well. These guys look like they're ready to go into battle with a nice smile. They're like, hmm. Nice big blue eyes. But you know, it's whether or not you really like these kind of figures. Use your own, man. Don't forget when you're buying from us, I send you extra figures, so. You have nothing to complain about. Another set of twins right here. These guys have their spear in hand. They're nice and red. The printing is actually pretty okay on these guys, but just whether or not you like these kind of figures. I think I say that every single time. Looks fine. It's a little bit more angry. This guy's face is slightly different. Maybe I used the wrong faces. I don't know, man. Use your own combination and make your own figures. But these guys certainly are prepared, ready to go to war. Then you got this guy, girl? Is it a girl? Maybe she's a girl. Not sure. Just look in the eyes. Looks pretty. Okay, we'll say it's a girl, woman, 
the scholar of this library or this place of information and she's holding a book. That's a print on the book. Nice blue color, nice printing. I have absolutely no issue with these figures, except that they're not really mini figures. Okay, now we got this lady who's ready to go into the battle. Look at her face. This is Mulan right here, holding her sword. And printing is okay on her. Different outfit. Are these repeating from the last set? I don't even want to look and I don't remember. But there she is, looks just fine. And then you got this cheerful lady here. A little marking on her forehead. Look, her eyes are huge on her. I think you had a little bit too much of something, lady. She's holding a fan and she's wearing this gray outfit. A little bit of black on it. it does have printing on the backside, so that's, that's kind of nice. There she is fanning herself away. Last but not least, is this lady with this printed tile book as well. And it actually has different characters than the other print. So that's good. At least they varied it up a little bit. She looks pretty mellow. She's wearing like an apron type thing on her dress. Printing on my one looks a little bit off or scratched up on the pink area. Uh, even on the back side, it's like this color didn't work out for her. Sorry, lady, this color did not work well for you. But there you go. There are all the figures. Now, time for dimensions. You know, this is on a 32 by 32 base plate. It might not really fit to your building, especially the rooftop being so low here and it doesn't flush down. It's, you know, it's built on that little platform. But you know, it's on a 32 by 32 base plate. I got my one by four bricks here. Look, wobbler, wobbler. We stack it right here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's just around there, like really close to it. That is 57 bricks in height. So, you know, make sure you got room for it. Put this around on your shelf and see if it'll fit or not. Good luck. I hope it does, because it's pretty cool. Okay, it's minifigure comparison time. You're probably gonna use your own anyway. So check this out. See that? And that? And that? All right, it's looking like a tourist attraction. Just so you know, these are the characters or the figures on the sets from Sembo Block, the Cherry Blossom series and the food stalls. Really popular in the store. But look at all these guys there. What are they doing? These guys actually look like they fit a lot better than the other figures. I think this, these sets were just designed for minifigures in mind. They just had to make the other ones. So the set came with something. Now let's go inside. All right, now it's time to go on the inside. Filled up with all these guys. Now I put the ladder there just to show you. It's hanging loose. We can get an idea how many figures can fit on there. But first, let's see the room and the spacing. Think that's good or not? Couple of ladies there. You know, I was going to mention because these are, you know, not Chinese guys. Uh, okay, we'll just stay away from that. Let's look on this side. Checking out some files inside that cabinet. This guy looking for something. What is he looking for, guys? You could probably fit one guy down there. Let's put another guy there. There. Go up, 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 up. You know, and of course they're gonna probably be blocked by this thing. So once this thing goes in there, it'll just be an empty space inside. Whee! Here's kind of a bird's eye view, but the ladder is gonna be more straight up, you know, like that. Whoa, don't fall guys. Ah, so we've made it to the top with all the guys up here. Oh, knocked over a little girl. Oh, there's one dude. He's coming up. He's panting and exhausted. What was that little girl doing that we knocked over? Ah, she was just banging on the drums. Got another guy there, checking out the bow and arrows. This guy chilling in the corner there, overlooking my brick city, which will start very soon, finally. Thank goodness that rooftop can come off so you can get an idea what it looks like inside and you can see all the figures there. So yeah, load the sucker up, get ready for war. There's your minifigure comparison to the set. Well, that took a little bit longer than I expected to get this video done, but you know what that means, right? I can drop this thing. I'm done filming with it. Let's drop the sucker. I'm scared for my life, as I always am. And let's move on to the next video. Oh, this tower is gonna fall off, man. The things I do for you guys. Dude, this thing is kind of scaring me the more I lift it up. Here we go. Enjoy it while I can. Five, four, three, Two, one. Thank you.
you. Thank you. You didn't break apart. I don't think anything came off. Here, let's take this piece off. Oh, there goes all the decorations. Ooh, the ladder is a little bit crooked. Pull that off. Ah, ha, ha. I'm so happy. Whoosh. More decorations came off, or a little awning pieces. And a moment of truth. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, now I can get to the next video faster. I don't have to rebuild this one. Yes. So that is the Zingbao Lookout Tower, whatever you want to call it. I think it actually looks really good. It stands out for sure. All right, cool. Thank you so much for liking the video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll be back until next time, you guys. Break me out. Gong. Clearly go in there and just kind of explore around and have a nice time with yourself. What I suspect you guys are doing, playing by yourself. Careful how you play with yourself. The good thing is, this all does come off in the sections, which is, see, I'm knocking all the decorations down. I'm still not where this one come from. See, I'm knocking over the little decoration thing that's hanging on the side. Just tapped it. Man, there's a girl goes another one. It's running away. This hat is available on my store. Break me up, Scotty.com. That does not look good, man. What happened to my hair? Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing either. Okay. This is easy to find and put these pieces back on there. Did I rotate this thing already for you? I can't even remember. But there you go. I do really fast. Scott July is here. Ah!